If you're watching this video, you either hold Aerodrome or you're very interested in buying into Aerodrome. Now, Aerodrome is a very proven product, right? It is the number one DeFi product on base, and Aerodrome has no competitors, and it's the number one decentralized exchange on base. Knowing all of this, I'm still getting comments every single day about people telling me, oh, Aerodrome's market cap is too high. Aerodrome already did a 10x, it can't do another 10x. Right? Bitcoin is about to drop a lot, so that means Aerodrome and all these other altcoins are going to drop. There is still a lot of fear in the market currently, um, not with just Aerodrome, but also with every single altcoin out there. People are fearful right now um, because we're nearing the halving, right? Bitcoin is at an all-time high. Um, people think that we're going to get this massive, massive crash after the halving, and maybe the pre-halving Bitcoin price of 70k, that's as high as we're going to get, right? There's people out there saying that. There's a lot of people out there saying that. In this video, I wanted to make not only on Aerodrome, but I also wanted to address the entire market as a whole. I want to talk about Bitcoin. I want to talk about altcoins as a whole. Because Aerodrome, being the safest altcoin on base right now, being one of the best altcoins in general in the DeFi space, I think this is a good altcoin to kind of set the standards for all other altcoins. Now, what do I mean by that? I think the altcoin rally has just started. Aerodrome right now is sitting at, what, like a dollar eighty, a dollar ninety. It still has so, so, so much more room to grow. And I will show you guys some proof right now. So, looking at the Bitcoin chart, right? These are the last four Bitcoin halving cycles. You can see this green point is where the halving takes place in all four of these cycles. Uh, you can see the first cycle in 2012, uh, you had, after the halving, right, we had basically an immediate 9,500% increase, right? Of course, this was when Bitcoin was, look at that, at about $12, so of course it was going to have that massive increase. Um, but looking at the second cycle, you see July 2016, uh, we had the second halving right here, and we had a 4,100% increase in just 500 days. Looking at the 2020 Bitcoin halving, we went from $8,700 to $69,000, right? And now in 2024, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think we're going to hit the halving? We're going to hit the all-time high exactly at the halving and then just drop straight from there. Crypto is going to crash. All coins are going to crash. That's the end of it. You know, let's wait till 2027. No, that's not going to happen. What's going to happen is you're going to probably we're going to experience a pump leading up to the having that is my personal prediction of course i can be completely wrong on this at the end of the day it does not matter at all because what we're going to do is we're going to hit the having we're going to hit this green point right here it could go up it could go down but we are going to hit this having and then what's going to happen is we're going to hit all-time highs we are absolutely going to destroy all-time highs right our all-time high of 70 72k that's nothing compared to where we're going, right? We are easily smashing through 100K, 120K, right? 130K. Now I'm saying all of this because in order for the market to move, in order for altcoins to move, in order for Aerodrome to move, Bitcoin has to go up. It has to continue going up. It needs to go up for all these other altcoins to go up, right? Bitcoin will trade higher in the next few months compared to where it's sitting at right now. Buy the dip, don't get shaken out. Now, Bitcoin, is also a great indicator for what all coins are going to do. Um, I have all these graphs right here. Let's just show. Um, let's just show this graph right here. So, looking at all coins, right? Right now we are at a consolidation zone, right? We are. We just hit the breakout. You know, in about like December, January, we hit the breakout, and now we are in the rally. This is exactly what happened last cycle. We had a breakout. We had consolidation, and then we shot straight up. This chart just shows how much upside potential we really have, right? Right now, altcoins, excluding uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, it's only sitting at 1.1 trillion. I think we can easily hit 4 trillion. We can smash through 4 trillion this cycle. That is basically a 4x on average for your altcoins from today's price. And Aerodrome being one of the most bullish altcoins in the DeFi sector, Aerodrome can easily 10x during this altcoin rally, during altcoin season, easily 10x. That is just my opinion, right? It's still only sitting at, what, like a $500 million market cap? It can easily hit $5 billion market cap. That is easy for Aerodrome. 
So that was the macro analysis. Now we're gonna take a look at the micro analysis, right? We're gonna look at the daily chart, uh, and you can see Aerodrome right now is actually doing very well, okay? Aerodrome obviously recently had this giant rally from, what, 38 cents in this consolidation zone, this black consolidation zone that I've drawn right here. It went from 38 cents all the way up, touched its all-time high of $2, and then now it's consolidating once again. Aerodrome did not break out into this new zone. It chose to consolidate at its all-time highs, um, which is good news, right? And what we're going to see is we're going to see even more consolidation. We can see a retest of this level right here, of the 1.63 level. We could even see a retest back down to the 1.3, 1.4 level, perhaps, right? That could always happen. But what I'm telling you is if you really zoom out, right, if you really zoom out, we have a lot of room to grow, and we have this zone right here, this 2.42 and this 3.10. So um, this this zone right here, I'm draw a circle, and this zone. These zones are most likely where the price is going to settle for the near future. Now, um, when we do see a breakout, right, we're going to see a breakout to the high and then consolidation at these zones, and then perhaps another breakout to the high and then more consolidation at these zones. Um, that's just a matter of time, in my opinion, right? So, in, and this is the short term I'm talking about. This is within a couple of weeks, maybe one to two months. I really do believe that this breakout is going to happen because we're going to see the halving happen. We're going to see Bitcoin probably drop a little bit, right? Bitcoin might do a little 10%, 15% drop, right? It'll probably be a 90K, maybe drop down, back down to 75K. And then boom, we're going to shoot right up once again. This $2.40 zone, I think, is definitely next. And then we may even see this $3.10 zone um, being hit once again. Now, that is just my prediction for the short term. I think in the next, probably around summertime, right, we're definitely going to see these levels, uh, if not sooner. Um, so, yeah, you know, still buying at these $1.83 uh, levels is a steal. It's an absolute steal compared to where we're going, right? If you know we're going to $3 in the next one to two months, right, why would you not pick up Aerodrome right now, right? And three to two months, two to three months is very conservative. I can definitely see this happening in a couple of weeks even. Maybe even before the halving, we see these two to three dollar zones. And if you really want to talk about long term, well then I think twenty dollars is a pretty safe bet. That would be about a ten X from today's price. And um, that would put Aerodrome at around a ten ish billion dollar market cap. I think the top decentralized exchange on one of the most bullish um, ecosystems in base for this bull run can easily hit a $10 billion market cap. Um, that's just my intuition. Tell me, let me know in the comments if you think any differently. So whether you like to think short term or long term, right, whether you want to just swing trade aerodrome, right, get in at around that 180 level, maybe it drops back down to 160, 130, get in at those levels, and then it hits this 240, right, this 310 range, and then you sell, right, you make a quick buck, that's up to you. If you want to do that, then go ahead. But if you're an investor that thinks long term, right, and you want to hold for a couple of months to a year, then you know waiting for this twenty dollar zone right here you know maybe ten dollars maybe you scale your way out it hits eight dollars you sell some hits thirteen dollars you sell some and then hits twenty dollars you sell your moon bag right that can work too so i'm just telling you that aerodrome has a lot of opportunity you have to th you can think both short term and long term but both ways aerodrome is looking pretty good right now and just looking at the tvl for base right the total value locked Right now on DeFi Llama, you can see that base is absolutely skyrocketing. Uh, the month of March was very good for base. Uh, you can see a widespread adoption. And, uh, you know, Aerodrome is the number one DEX on base. It only supports one chain, being base itself, TVL of almost 700 million. Um, you know, past month, past seven days, past day, it's been going all the way up. Um, and yeah, this project is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, if you're bullish on the base ecosystem, you should be bullish on Aerodrome. I say that in every single video, and I'll continue saying that. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that Aerodrome will do well this bull run. It's the number one DEX on base, right? It has no direct competitors on base. Not a single other project, not a single other decentralized exchange on base is even close to Aerodrome. Aerodrome outranks every single other one by volume by far. It's just really that simple. Um, there's no rocket science involved.
And in terms of the macro view of the environment, right, it's looking really good for altcoins out there, right? It's looking good for airdrums, it's looking good for every single altcoin out there, even Bitcoin, right? So like if I were to get into a coma, right, if I were to get into a coma right now and sleep through the next four months, I would sleep, I would have my best sleep ever because I know that this is coming, right? I know that we're going to see an absolute parabolic move in Bitcoin over the next couple of months after the halving. And then likely we're going to see an absolute parabolic move of altcoins. Uh, you can see right here, RSI, we're not even close to hitting this this um, high RSI point right now. Uh, we are still you know, in this 60 range. Uh, we need to hit this 90 range. We're not even close, right? Altcoins, right now we're sitting at a $1.1 trillion market cap. Um, we're looking to target this four to five trillion dollar range. Um, that's still right an average of four x for your altcoins. All right, we're not even close. Aerodrum is gonna do well, so well. I'm so excited. That's gonna be it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.